What was I thinking when I bought this? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Apurva and I love making DIY fashion and lifestyle videos. Few years back, I was diagnosed with impulsive purchase disorder. That was the result of no debt and no worry in life. Oh, good old days. And that my friends resulted in few ugly clothes in my closet. Recently, I decluttered my closet which I have told thousands of times I guess by now. But yeah, I gave away most of the stuff and um, but I couldn't let go of this one trench coat because trench coats are not cheap and also because I owe it only once. So I thought I'll convert this ugly trench coat into something nice or something less ugly. So I thought I'll make a crop jacket, something like this or maybe something like this wherein the sleeves is still the elbow length and I'll make a short skirt out of the remaining jacket and I can wear it together. If not, at least I can wear it with other basic clothes so that the bold print, you know, won't dominate the outfit. And I have never stitched something so thick because it's pretty thick with all the lining and the main fabric is actually a blend of wool which is actually thick so yeah I hope it turns out well so let's get started so now I'm gonna pin until where I want the jacket length to be and I'm gonna cut it So this is how it looks. I'm pretty happy with the length. Now I have to alter the fitting as well because it's pretty loose. I'm going to tighten it on the sides of the jacket and the sleeves as well. And then I cut out the lining by one inch so that when I fold it and stitch it, it doesn't look too thick. And then I did the stitching by folding it and I did hand hemming. So now that the jacket is ready, I'm going to do the skirt. First, I'm going to remove the pockets of the jacket. I'm going to place a skirt that fits me perfectly on top of this fabric and then I'm going to mark it down and then cut out the fabric. And then I'm going to stitch it on the sides. And then I wrapped it around my waist and then pinned it wherever I want the buttons to be attached. I cut out one inch of lining from the top of the skirt and then I folded it and I pinned it. And then did hand hemming. Now I need to do button hole over here and then add buttons on the below. If only I knew how to do buttonholes. This is the first time I'm doing this. So I watched few YouTube videos. I'm gonna leave a link for that in the description below for more detailed instruction. Place button where I have to do the buttonhole and mark how much I have to cut it. And then I folded the fabric and cut a little hole. And then I inserted the button through that hole just to see if it was right. Make sure you don't make it too loose. Insert the needle from the wrong side and then 
take little bit of fabric and then bring over the thread as shown in the video and repeat this all the way around and your buttonhole will be ready. Disclaimer, it'll take a lot of time to do this but it's gonna be worth it once your skirt is ready. And then stitch the button on the other side. Do the same thing for the other two buttons. And the skirt will be ready. I'm pretty happy how it turned out. Actually, I'm super proud of my sewing skills. It looks way better than what it was earlier. The skirt and the jacket would look nice separately as well with basics. That's it for today's video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Until then, as I always say, do whatever you want in your life and stay happy.